Welcome back, everyone. All right, no denying it, Wisconsinites certainly have an interesting way of talking. Well, joining me now is the co-editor of the new book, Wisconsin Talk Linguistic Diversity in the Badger State, Joseph Sammons, and he's here to explain how badgers maybe sound a little bit different than the rest of the U.S. And uh, here's your new book, and I, I was looking at it, just kind of looking at the front and some of these words, and yeah. I have absolutely no idea about any of these. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not from around here, but tell me a little bit about the book. Well, so... The three co-editors, uh, Tom Purnell, Eric Ramey, and I are all from other places, other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. We came here, we realized that this is just an amazing place linguistically. The words, uh, the amount of change, the different languages that have been spoken and are being spoken today, and the diversity within the state. So you gave the example of bubbler earlier. Mm -hmm. That's like especially eastern Wisconsin. You ask people in Wisconsin, what's, what words do you associate with Wisconsin? People almost always will say bubbler first. But you go to western Wisconsin, huge numbers of people don't say it at all. They know it, but that's not what they say. And stuff like soda and pop okay. divides the state pretty much down the middle. I mean, there's a lot of variation, but it's a it's pretty, clean, pretty clean line. See, these are the things I'm learning here. So, so part of the state says pop, part of the state says soda. Yep. Okay, so now it's not just words, too, or like different meanings for different words, but it's also how, like, pronunciations. Yep. Like, you know, from being from Philadelphia, sometimes we say water, other people say water. Yeah, well, one of the classic things that we've been working on a lot is the pronunciation of the word bag. Uh, where Wisconsinites will often, I can't do it, I'm not from Wisconsin, but it sounds to an outsider like big, uh, and you get the story of somebody goes to the store, a newcomer goes to the store, uh -huh. buys a loaf of bread and a quarter of milk, and the clerk says, you want to beg for that? So what do you mean beg for it? I just gave you money for it. I don't have to beg. Um, instead of hearing the word bag, which is intended, uh, this completely clear pronunciation to insiders and outsiders, but insiders, Wisconsinites especially, can hear that as bag, whereas to outsiders like me, it still sounds, I have to listen very hard to tell whether somebody's saying bag, the verb, or bag, sack. Uh, so yeah, that stuff is all over the place. I gotta say, I'm laughing because right before the show in the newsroom, they were giving that exact example and saying, you know, what do you carry your groceries in? A bag, a bag, a bag, you know, yep. all, all over the place. So, and then of course, it, it has some history too about linguistics throughout the state as yep. well. Uh, yeah, you think about the languages that have been spoken in the state, uh, it's still very, very rich in Native American languages. The greatest diversity of Native American languages east of the Mississippi in the U.S. and different families represented. That's a very exciting area today because of the work that people are doing to revitalize. To uh, Many of the languages are down to a few speakers, and there's a lot of very interesting work going on getting children to learn the languages and use the languages, so that's very exciting. The older immigrant languages are still spoken. Uh, German is still spoken by several thousand people who were born here, fifth generation Wisconsinites who still speak German as their first language and completely fluently, completely normal native speakers. And then all the new languages that have come in more recently than, and that are very widely spoken, Spanish and Hmong especially. There you go, you learn something new every day. Well, Joe, thanks so much for joining us. What an sure. amazing, interesting book. Well, this actually goes on sale next month. If you want to find out more information on it, just head to our website, NBC15.com, and click on news links. Stay with us, Dan. I'll have a final check on your weather right after the